Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you what I've been recently making. Oh yeah, air conditioning units. I got, this is just a household vent. This is just your ordinary household vent, the 8x8 that's usually in your bathroom. I got this for 14 bucks at Home Depot. It has a shutter, but it has computer fans inside. And you're wondering why there's RTU1. That's what most stores do. They just call it RTU and then a number. So, I'll show you the back of this. And here's my two fans that's in the back here. And you, that's the, the brand of vents I get. Yeah. Here's these two fans. They're high, high RPM. These were taken out of a computer. But... Uh, this blows really hard. You hear that foil in there. I put foil in these to just know that the units are blowing real good and there's nothing wrong. And then I got invisible string here, which is, well in my case, this is a, a fishing line that can hold up to 20 pounds. This is only like two pounds and it holds real good. I made this so I then I could put a hook in the ceiling and have this hanging. And I put it on all of these too. So screwed on the side, choked it down, choked the screws down good. And here is my second unit. You might notice this this vent right here. The brawn the brawn bathroom fans. I got this for eight bucks at Home Depot. That, they actually sell these by themselves at Home Depot in the back. I got three fans in the back of this unit. And you might notice this this is not a shoebox lid. I just screwed a piece of cardboard down off of those science hair boards there. That no one wasn't claiming and I could reuse for stuff like this. I just screwed these fans down. Two core master fans and one one generic fan but they're all by Delta Delta made these fans and same with these these are two Delta fans so this also has a piece of foil in there just rattling around but blows pretty good just to blow 360 degrees all around and then this one I got a big cooler master fan in the back of this box with the 12 by 12 vent Got this for 24 bucks at Home Depot a while back. And here is my Cooler Master LED fan. Got it from Fry's Electronics for 15 bucks. Yeah, I scribbled out some information that you guys shouldn't see. But it runs pretty good. It's low RPM, it's real quiet. It looks a little flickery on the camera because the LED. And over there, just look. This one, this particular unit runs off that outlet there. It's on 12 volts. Runs on a NEMA 5 outlet, which is I know for 250 volts, but I kind of repurposed it, see? With the plug connector. Just plug it in, it'll run. See, it's not on right now, but I'll plug it back in. And I have it running on this out. I have this unit running on that outlet. And I got two thermostats here that I'm going to eventually hook on these units. They're going to be hardwired in. So, And I got this new thermostat from Home Depot yesterday for 20 bucks. This Honeywell thermostat. You might notice that from a video a year ago. And I, it's basically I made one of these units into those. And I also have a unit here controlled off this thermostat. Blows good. You might hear the blowing. And then that tiny unit there, the blue one, runs off that switch. And then there's these two outlets. And here is my 35 year old outlet. I might make a new unit soon where I'm going to have this vent on the top. Well, actually on the side, and then this one on the bottom. Like most department stores have. And then these are just science fair boards that kids do not claim. Which I just use for scrap. And all this. I just have to peel that off. 
and all of this. Well, I hope you like this video. Subscribe to me and have a nice day. Thank you.